Hi everyone, I'm Will. This is Will the Artist. And today we're going to talk about making a track. Uh, people have a lot of names for it. Making a beat, making a groove, whatever it is. Uh, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're doing. So uh, dive in. This is actually the track you're listening to right now. Is going to be the final product. So I'm going to show you how to make this track, make this groove. Um, step by step how I did it. Um, you don't have to do it this way. I'm just showing you my process. So come on in. Um, yeah, and just, it, it, it's, a, it's a blessing to be able to do this, you know. Um, so, I kind of, you know, it's weird. Okay, so I'm going to take out these two kicks. Extend that a little bit, just so it's a normal. But what I'm going to do, I actually love the idea and the sound of that. So, I'll do this, which is just select all these kicks and just bring it down. Let's make it quieter. Because I kind of like the thud of that other kick. Similar to what I do with the, the um snare so addictive drums is kind of a little more like it's kind of more rock if that makes sense especially this set i might want to change the set too um meaning the the drum set that i'm playing for addictive drums but what i'm doing for right now because i like the sound of this a little better the thud it's kind of a nicer thud it kind of is not as in the way um as that i'm gonna turn that down a little bit too I know I'm not the most efficient in logic, forgive me. I'm, it's just because, like, I kind of think more about the creativity. I know I need to streamline and be a little quicker if I ever want to get anything done. But we're in a, we're in a process together, and we're going to figure this out together. All right, so let's see. Um, let's listen, see how this sounds, right? All right? It's the only way to find out. it gotta quantize it does not sound great ladies and gentlemen don't over swing but i'm gonna quantize because it's gotta be on beat this gotta be on beat especially right at the beginning it's, it's always fun i need the i need a kick there too so, fuck it let's just <laughs> the kick is not the star will the kick doesn't matter just fucking put something in there my problem is I try to make every instrument the star, and it's a problem. One instrument needs to be the star. Always remember that. Alright, so sometimes you gotta line it up the audio oh it's because I'm a little ahead on that okay so let's see let's put it right at the beginning I want it to you gotta have it like line up right away with it so it's just because a little ahead it's fine don't matter don't matter things don't need to be right on the grid all the time sometimes it sounds better you want it to sit back a little bit That's cool. I could dig that, right? Alright, so just doing this. Just doing this. I was pretty hot. I could take it. I could dig it, right? Be into this. I'm cool with it. Alright, so let's listen again. I'm just gonna I'm thinking of a melody. You know, I'm trying to think of a little melody. How long is it right now? 
we're at one minute 13 seconds all right i mean i'm thinking like it's an interlude something something cool though like that it gives me good vibes like i'm not hating it now keep in mind this, this, is, this is all dry there's nothing affected this. this is all just dry nothing okay not mixed very raw it's like a sketch Let's talk about mixing later this is just worrying about getting the instruments and not destroying our ears bass a little loud some little um, like a little percussive thing something percussive let's see looking for percussion 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 oh you know what I could do I could add in a little like I think let's see Always thinking like eight bars, so it's my first eight. This is like my second. I mean, I don't have to always thinking eight bars, but with stuff like this, like it's very groove oriented. It's every eight bars. So this is the this is the last bar of the eight. So something new should introduce here. Yeah, I was gonna use my other drum, but I think I need something melodic. It gets too busy, but right in here it's like get something melodic introduced. Yeah, something like that. Let's see if we can find something. Sometimes you sing it in like the way I'm singing it might be better than what I even end up with, but uh, we'll try. Let's let's try to find something. I sang before I don't even remember what I was doing maybe I can listen to it again get it back let's see see that's where that CPU goes crazy it's like bro you just pulled up a brand new fucking drum thing now you're out here just playing shit like nothing just gotta load everything, that's why. percussive but now i'm actually gonna go with something a little more like percussive melodic so i'm not gonna go to the addictive drum set i'm actually gonna pivot here and go to an omnisphere omnisphere is great I'm pulling up a stereo track here of omnisphere I probably should do really quick before i do all that is bounce these bad boys because nobody likes to have things Nobody 
likes to have things overload on them. So uh, I'm gonna, I still might want to mess with the drums a little bit. So it's good to have just two. It's good to have, uh, you know, at least the drums in MIDI. So if you need to move something around or whatever, I mean, I could, if I was working on something big, probably go turn off all these, but something small. You can afford to have two midis going, four midis, a little different. So, um, so I got two of these turned off. That's the other ones in this Omnisphere thing. That's why it looks like that. Just so you know, um, I think I've probably said that about six million times. Mm, okay, so let's listen and get a sound. All right, so look, what I like to do with Omnisphere, the cool part about Omnisphere. All right, so these are all like their own instrument libraries. These all these categories, you could just like. The, that breaks down into this, which breaks down into this. So these are all subfolders. These are the main folders. These are sub ones. So basically, what I'm going to do is kind of go after what I'm looking for right now. So what I'm looking for is something elect, um, not electronic, something percussive. So I'm going to hit percussive, and then I get this whole other menu that comes up, and you can also look by author and genre too. I just want to look at all the percussive organic but I like percussive organic because it gives me a feeling there's a lot of I mean like ethnic colors evolving motion a lot of atmosphere is so great with describing words hybrid bells rings by name but I don't think it's gonna work with something like this I need something bells are a little long I need something short as far as just the length of the instrument it needs to be a percussive bell um I'm just Metallics. Let me listen again. It's important to kind of reference your track while, while you're thinking about this. I mean, the other way is you just kind of dive in, right? And your system overload goes, of course. So now something, something I think about when doing this is uh, the idea that, okay, where is it going to fit in the frequency spectrum? So I got to think about my frequency spectrum right now. I have my bass and my drums and then the snare and the hi-hat. That I mean, think about, the thing about a drum set is it takes up a lot of frequency because it, it takes up low, mids, and highs. So it takes up a lot. My piano is kind of like high mids. I mean, it's it's, high, it's up there. Um, that's where something like you throw a stereo EQ on here. This is just an easy way to do it. There's so many ways to do this, but you're kind of just monitoring. I mean, we're listening to my voice right now, but this is a frequency picture. My, my vocals, you can see where it's all punching. That's right where my vocals are punching in that range. So it's good to just look at this. And then you can also just monitor your track. So this is the basic ass EQ in Logic um, on it. And you have to have the monitoring turned on, the analyzer's off, you can't see it. But um, yeah, so basically it's just taking everything that's running through that stereo out. So let's play it and see where our spectrum, uh, where we're getting a lot of spectrum without me talking. So a lot in the low. Let's see what happens when the bait, the keyboard in the so you get a little here from the hi hat and the snare. Yeah, the keys are right in the middle here. It's, it's between 800 and 2k I'd say. So it's not that you can't put a melody in there, but it's going to interact a lot more with that piano. So odds are you want to avoid that space with your next instrument choice. So it's just something to note. You want to avoid stacking too many instruments in one frequency space. It's just better for mixing and better for arranging uh, all the way around. So this is something to be thoughtful of when arranging a piece. So that's what I'm thinking of right now as I'm adding this melody and I realized I played pretty high up on the piano, but I thought it was really, if I played an octave lower on the piano, it wouldn't really have worked as much. We can try it. Um, you can always try everything, but 
I, I just love the sound of that piano up there and I think it works so I think I need to go I usually tend to go even higher so I want to go up in that upper range and pick something that sounds good in that range and I think I kind of found something actually let's see where let's see where that uh, affects and I also there's a lot of dripping on this that happens a lot with Omnisphere stuff um, you get a lot of effects dripping on it already. I, I usually tend to pull it back, especially when I'm making something like this. So let me do that. And of course, I just, I, it, this, it's, Omnisphere is great, but it's also like a curse too, because it's so hard not to like everything that you appear on. And like, this is just awesome. Like this, just the sound to me is so effing cool. Like, but it's got a lot. See this A, D, S, and R. I actually talked about that in a past video where I said I would explain it so this this sustain right so it's all the way up that means this um, it's a sample okay so there's a sample and a synth patch for here so you're gonna see whether it's on a sample or synth. so it's actually a sample and Omnisphere is really cool because it always plays two things together so there's one sample and then another sample uh, you can see that this second B sample is turned way down. So I love to just like kind of see how they made this. So Cave Water Evolve and Cave, st um, and that thing, whatever the fuck that is. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Um, stalactites, I guess. Yeah, stalactites. So we're going to try st Cave Stalactites first. Let's see what that sounds like. Like that that's pretty and then what's this this is b let's turn it up a little bit just see what we're doing here. oh it's the effect okay see and that's why the sustains are all the way up on that so i'm actually just gonna completely take that out i it's cool but i think it's gonna muddy up everything um I, you know what <laughs> this is what i normally do but i actually kind of want to keep it i'm just gonna take the sustain down I don't like when things last forever. I need things to evolve a little bit, so I usually tend to do that. Just kind of bring everything down to a less extreme. Because I get it. Like, you're going to design the sound as a preset to be, like, as big and gushy and nice as possible. So you use the sound. Like, you're going to you're gonna make this want to make the sound sound cool. Now, I have to go ahead and tame that sound because I want to use it. I want to make it usable. So especially for what I want to use it for, which is, which is a little melody up top here. sound and I kind of I mean it adds a little layer of I like that it's not bad it kind of adds this starkness to it let's see how it sounds with the mix see I haven't fully committed to this instrument yet so I'm not going for it 100% I just want to see what it sounds like in the mix like with the other instruments because it things sound different when they interact with other things <laughs> Yeah, see, yeah, it's it doesn't work because it doesn't match up well with the piano. I should have checked it a little earlier, but it doesn't work. See, so when too sharp or too like similar to the frequencies, when too like instruments kind of come together, it doesn't always work, and you want instruments to work with each other. It's interesting. Sometimes I just like to go into the place where I feel like it makes sense. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to something else. Maybe I need to rethink what I want. I think that's what I need to do. Let's think in a different way. That's always good, right? Let's look in the type, so. I don't think I want strings. How about airy and fizzy? No, I feel... Stop being tentative. Just go for it. What's this? I like this at some point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes it's hard to find stuff you want. It's like a search. Alright, 
And then sometimes you just come across random shit you didn't know you wanted, but now you do because you saw the word. And that's kind of what the cool beauty of Omnisphere is. That's the cool part about it. It's like you just scroll and you just look at a word. You're like, ooh, that could use that. That's cool. I actually like that. That's cool. Because things that like expand. Ooh, it's melodic too. I like, I just, when I find cool sounds, you gotta try to use them, right? Um, wait. Yeah, it's a fun little toy. It's a cool sound, All right? Just for later use, whenever I open this again, it's like, alright, well, what the hell was what? You know, just basic labeling is always a good thing if you're messy like me because like artists are messy and a lot of these guys come on here as producers and like you need to do this and this and this it's like i don't operate in a place where i'm not messy like i need to it's like an, I, I really like the more i think about it oil painting is a great way to explain producing in the box like what i'm doing right now um because it's like what it really is it's just kind of throwing things at stuff and like if it doesn't work you just let it dry and you paint over it but like i don't have to let it dry i can just erase it but point is like i don't like when all my tracks are a different color and but i mean i do that for mixing don't get me wrong when i'm mixing yes then i'm in a different headspace but when i'm being creative and i'm just sitting here making things for fun i don't want the like rigidness of producing yet I don't want that yet right not these are scratch tracks these are if I'm going to turn it into something else it's going to turn into something else but right now I'm working on the idea of a sound that lasts a minute and 15 seconds it's a valuable piece of music you know because I put the time and effort into creating this and I just want to show people that they can do that too like it's not something that's impossible it's it is possible it's it's doable and everything i've done here in front of you guys in front of these cameras isn't hard like if you're a musician it's not hard i'm just playing music and i'm using the computer to make up for things that you know 50 years ago jesus 50, 60 years ago in this in the 1960s that you needed a team of people to do now it's right in front of me and available and infinite and it's in front of everybody for like you just the cost of logic and an interface you know a couple hundred bucks you probably get a studio in like easily like four or five hundred dollars it's really not that bad like a basic startup studio for a couple of, if you have a mac you're already there because you just use garage band it's free you buy there's an interface out there for probably 110 dollars maybe and you know, you just that's if you want to record your voice. If you don't want to record your voice, then it's already available. Then it's already here. You can open your phone right now and do it. But odds are if you're watching this, it's because you like have the stuff and you probably want to get in my little chair is so loud. Um you probably want to get into it in, in a level where you feel like, okay, I can feel confident in putting stuff out that I like, that I enjoy, either whether it's for yourself or it's for some somebody else or whatever it is, like you is if, if you're doing this for whatever reason and you want to make sure you sound good at it like i'm here to help you and and help you get that confidence because i know what it's like to not have confidence in this and it's no fun like you feel like you're drowning but when you just gain a little bit of confidence and somebody tells you no what you're doing is okay it's good to do what you're doing keep doing it and now look how i do it and then you watch other people do it how they do it and you know it allows you to be more free with this creative thing this thing that's supposed to be creative it's not supposed to be scary in any way so um let me try to play in a little bit of the synth <laughs> See 
what that sounded like. I actually kind of want to replicate that. I don't, it doesn't like, it's not a pitch. It's weird. I don't think I like this. It's like not um in the correct key. It it like it's modulating. Uh, oh fuck! It's it's modulating down. Um, the 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 pitch is not correct. Let's just say that there's too much pitch depth. Let's see, let's see if they can. I think I'm gonna abandon it. I mean, I it wasn't really as good as I thought. It, yeah. Sometimes you gotta find a sound, you know. It is what it is. All right. Um, let's keep going on our search. I feel like it needs like a hit somewhere. Like that's why I'm looking for some. Like, Like hip hop, or I like the soup hitter. See, I'm being really mean to my computer. I'm asking, I'm asking to pull up so much right now. Kind of like this. Like it's a pre-hit. So basically, it is like hitting it before the hit. So it's kind of like a a preemptive feel to it. So like, that's what we transitioned to. We went from percussive to melodic. Now we're doing a pre-hit. And that's what it's what happens. It's what the it's what the song needs. You know, sometimes that's what it needs. Something new to introduce. I just knew something new needs to happen right here after bar 16. This is melodic too. It doesn't work either. Nothing works with this. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Okay, what do we... Um, Let's go to my where I know. So when when in doubt, go to your go to where you go, right? And let's do that. These are like velocity drums, so it's based on how hard you play them. Now we're gonna play some in. Just see if we can get some high, you know? Hey. I need to mix it up a little bit, you know? It's like too, it's a little too stale right now. These something at that 17 minute mark. Kind of living it. 
feel it? What is, what is this feeling? You know, what am I, where am I going? It's what I was looking for, I think. It's cool. It adds an element. All right, so what I got to do here is I got to, what I got to do is um, modify this instrument a little bit. Let me delete that. Get that out of here. So that recording's gone. Didn't need that. Whatever. Now I'm going to edit my part. Okay, so it has two things going. Remember I said Atmosphere always has two things? So what's this? Oh my god. It's always playing. No, I don't mind that. A little tighter on the release too. A little tighter on the release. so many instruments coming through this one channel so you can just kind of mess with shit man like just throw it out the wall see what happens It could be a three bar phrase too. Because I don't like this. Let's 
this one. Just thinking about little parts that would be better to introduce. It's like having a friend and you know you should introduce this one first you know so like this one's a little cooler <laughs> like you know um this phrase was a little cooler than this phrase so it'll be palatable a little better because the first one had just has two hits so the second time through is a little different so this is four bars four bars this is the second introduction so let's listen lead in, little lead in lead in lead ins are important you gotta feel the groove first See if you're surprised by it or if you like it. Am I still gonna get that last if I take out that last little hit? No, I still, I still get it. Just step on shit around and see what works, you know. copy and we got a one minute and 50 seconds but the reason I did that was because I want to fade it out now I'm gonna automate and I'm gonna automate the stereo um, I'm gonna fade the master thing okay so I'm gonna put an automation thing in here I guess let's drop down so my automation strip and so it's gonna repeat right I'm just gonna fade it out start starting here ish this is just kind of kind of put a button on it similar to what I was doing at the beginning where I started it out correctly now I'm kind of listening through I'm at the minute 13 mark and I wanted to I wanted to fade I want to end the song I want to I think I'm done I like what I came up with if anything I would add a little melody to it um, but I don't really feel, I mean, I had one at one point, but then it kind of like shit happens, you know, it's nice and easy to fade out. You just gotta see what your fade is, like how fast you should do it. Chisel. It's a little, that's a little fast. Oh, I'm like, why am I not as loud? But it's because I'm taking myself out too. I'm taking my microphone out. So when you're ever in automation, just remember that. Um... Yeah. All right, you can come in if you want. I'll be right there. Yeah, yeah you, want me to, um, you want me to park in the driveway or do you want me to park in the side? Uh, park, uh, yeah, driveway's fine. You know, you're not going to get blocked. Uh, yeah, I, just because it's I, muddy. I feel like PTSD if I park in, on, on the side. Yeah, it's because it's muddy. Yeah, it's <laughs> muddy. You're right. You're right. No, I yeah, just park in the parking lot. Uh, park in the All right. driveway. All right. All right. All right. I'll see you in a sec. So, uh, yeah, basically, I just do a fade out. It was too short before. It was too fast. You can always identify based on like where how where you where you want it to end. So kind of like I felt like I wanted to end here. Like, that felt good. That felt good. All right, well, this has been Will the Artist. I really appreciate it if you got all the way to the end of this. Hope you liked it, and uh, look forward to more stuff. I actually have a drummer buddy coming in right now. 
where we're gonna work on stuff. Oh, there he is. Come on in, Eric. Um, yeah, so I'm actually gonna uh, start miking up the drum set and everything. Perfect timing. So um, yeah, this is, I basically put together this uh, minute, 15 second, you know, it could be a nice start to like a TV show, like, you know, a channel, anything like that. So um, appreciate listening. Throw me that subscribe, that like, you know, in the comments, you know, I'll be very responsive. Well, I'm Will. And this has been Will the Artist. I appreciate you watching. Um, it would really help me out if you clicked on that like and subscribe button. And um, yeah, I appreciate that you got this far. Throw me a like, subscribe. It goes a long way. Really not that hard. If you feel like commenting, I'll, I'll definitely get back to you in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for listening. It's much appreciated. And look out for more uh, weekly content coming, coming right at you on this channel. Thanks so much. I'm Will. This has been Will the Artist. Have a good one.